Well, this actually might be my biggest haul yet from the Goodwill bins. I scored big time. Let's get into the haul so I can show you guys everything that I got. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another haul video for you guys today. This is a haul from the previous picking video you seen when I went to the Goodwill bins. And I am not kidding when I say I think this is my biggest haul yet. I spent $40 even, which I know in the past I've spent more than that. But I've got multiple, multiple money makers in this haul. I am super excited to share with you guys everything that I found for $40. I got three big sackfuls of stuff, as you've seen, so it's going to be quite a big, long haul, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I picked up was this brand new, in-the-box Funko Pop. Um, not worth a ton of money. I'll put comps up here on the screen, but I will um, sell it in a live sale. Maybe somebody is interested and collects Fun Pops, so this is the... Mycroft Homes. I think it's pretty cool. Little man in a suit. So, doesn't weigh a whole lot. He went in my cart. I collect um, vintage pennants. I have a whole wall full of them. And so, this is going to go on my wall. As long as I don't have this one, I gotta double check. I might have this one already. If I have this one, then I will be selling this. But, vintage pennants. They can sell for decent money, too, so I picked that one up. I picked up this guy. Now, unfortunately, Rainbow Bright was not in the bins. I wish, I wish Rainbow Bright would have been along with him. I might keep him and put him, he might join my family. He, he might just join my family somewhere if I can find a spot for him. Um... Maybe I'll just put him up, put him up there in between those. He is so cute and adorable, rubber face. This brings me back to my childhood. I love Rainbow Bright. I had this one. Actually, I think I had the white one. If I remember right, I had the white one with the rainbow. But I don't know. This is from 1983. Super, super awesome. Love this. So, and it's in good condition. And then I picked up that cute Santa. He's so, oops, his beard is kind of in his face. There we go. He's adorable, right? Just a cute little rubber face Santa. I thought he was fun. I picked myself up a couple t-shirts. Anytime I could find t-shirts, that I like and that are comfortable in the bins. I'd pick them up, so I picked that one up. And then I picked this one up. I like the way they feel. They're super soft and fun, so I picked those up. Then I picked up this purse. I love this purse, you guys. Look at it. It is in fabulous condition and those are feathers they're feathers isn't that awesome it is in really 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 good condition i like the this part right here actually that part might be bake light but i don't know i have to look into it more and the inside's in really really nice condition as well so that cute cute adorable vintage purse came home with me. I love it. I love vintage purses and this one is in really good condition and it's unique. Then I picked up a couple really fun um, vintage calendars. 
This one's from 1970, and this one's from 1971. They're really cute. And then if you, you can hang them up, see? They have plastic things from the, they're like advertising clocks. Or not clocks, calendars rather. Aren't they cool for Christmas? I just think they're so cool. They're, they have all the months in them, but they're just vintage and really fun. So they went in my card. They might go in like a Christmas grab bag or something like that. Who knows? I'm getting ready to have a big Christmas in July sale, a live sale. Okay, so then I picked up this. I found this right at the end. I am so glad that I decided to stay because I was going to leave um, because I wasn't finding anything in the new bins that they were bringing out. And then the right when they brought out the last row that I was going to stay for, this was on top. And I'm like, I'm going to check that out, you know, and stick it in my cart. And oh my God, when I plugged it in, it is so cool, you guys. I have an extension cord, so I can plug it in for you right now. And, ooh, it popped. Why that pop? I hate extension cords. Look at it. Isn't that so cool? I love it. Very, very psychedelic. So much fun. It's in good, good working condition. You see how the color goes around the outside? The blue. Isn't that cool? I like this piece. I just think it's super cool, super neat. Um, oh, the green and the blue both spin. It's hard to see the green on camera, but the green is spinning. It's a spinning wheel in there. I love it. I just think it's so cool. So I looked it up. I did a, I'm gonna unplug it here. Just hope I don't get shocked. Try to stay away from the metal part. Uh, oh, give me one second. Okay, so I looked this light up, and I'll put comps up here on the screen. Somebody has it listed for quite a bit of money. I think $250 or something like that. And I'm like, that is so cool. So I'll put, um, not comps, but I'll put a, um, what they're asking for. Because I couldn't find anything else on it besides that one. So I'm super excited. So excited to find that. And then I found a real Louis Vuitton. I could not believe it. It was in the new bins. Um, I think this was in the last, this and I got the light in the last bins, I believe. But it is real. It's like suede on the inside. You know how the fake ones have like the vinyl plasticky material? This is like the suede. It is beautiful, beautiful. Never held a real Louis Vuitton in my life. <laughs> so I was so excited when I found this wallet. I looked it up again. I'll put comps or whatever. They have them listed for up here on the screen. But it is super nice, really good condition, and a beautiful, beautiful wallet. So right there's two big money makers and then a third big money maker. And the last thing in the first sack is this amazing quilt. OMG, you guys, it is beautiful. It's big. I'll put measurements up here on the screen for you. I'll lay it out and measure it. But it is absolutely gorgeous. There's no rips, hit, uh, tears, holes, or stains. It does not smell bad. Um, it is just absolutely fabulous. Do you know how long it took somebody to make this? Look at the edges. Oh, I just love it so much. It is perfect, perfect condition. This is amazing quilt. This was a very awesome find. And my friend Alex 
found it for me in the clothing bins because I don't really look a lot in the clothing bins. Um, so, yay. Thank you, Alex. Super great find. Okay, so moving on to sack number two. I found this Rubik's Cube. I am going to get a little, well, actually a bigger envelope together full of little things that I picked up for my friend Robin at Dumpster Diva. And when I seen this Ruben, Rubik's Cube, I thought of her. So I'm going to send this to her as a gift. Then I found a whole bin, you guys, a whole bin of these rubber toys these vintage rubber toys now had there not been a guy on one side of me and another guy on the other side of me i would have grabbed all of them every single one that you know, that was in the bins but uh, the guy on one side of me todd he's awesome um he didn't grab very much and the other guy's awesome too but he grabbed a ton the other guy, I probably had a little bit more than what I did, I would say, but I don't know for sure. I think he had a whole bin and then some, but he had a whole bunch and it was awesome. I mean, there's enough to share for all of us to go around, so I'm not complaining at all. I got a whole cart full. I got tons and they're all marked like different things. Um, like this one is, I can't really read it, like Candy Toy Ink. Fitchburg or Pittsburgh? No, I can't read it. I have my contacts in. It is marked on the back. Like, I'll just go through these really quickly and just show them to you. They are vintage. I think this was someone's whole collection. I'm not for sure which ones the guy grabbed. I just kept grabbing them and throwing them on the floor. Oh, he squeaked. <laughs> He's a good squeaker. Some of them squeak, some of them do not. I will just show you the ones. Well, I mean, I'll show you all of them, but if they squeak, I'll squeeze, squeeze them. He squeaks just a tiny little bit. He's a squirrel with a nut. So stinking cute. I don't know if he's marked. He's adorable. Yeah, this was somebody's whole entire collection. Well, I guess the rest of them were in the other sack. I must have put the rest of them in the other sack, so I'll show you those in a minute. Then I picked up this. I thought this would just be something fun. It's a metal compass and a brass thing. I thought this would be fun to stick into a treasure bag. So that went in my cart. I picked up a, one of these plate hanger things for my mom. She asked me to find her some in the bins, and so I did. So this will be going to her. I picked up this old, old doll. She is in really, really good condition. Really good condition for her age. Her eyes open and close. She's like the comp, compens, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. I'm tired. I'll put what I'm talking about up here. Composition doll, something like that. She's in really, 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 really good condition. So I picked her up. She's adorable. I like her. Then I picked up a whole bag of beads. A whole bag of beads. These are so fun. There's all kinds of different beads in there. In bags and out. So I thought that was a cool pickup. I picked me up some headphones. I'm going to disinfect these and keep these for myself. Um... I have wireless headphones, but sometimes they die, so I'm going to keep these as a backup. Because, as you know, if you have a new iPhone, you have to use a jack like... Oh, no! Duh! I was backwards. It takes the other kind. This is wrong. These will do me no good. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Maybe Bridget or some the kids could use those. Anyway, I'll disinfect them and clean them up and give them to the kids, I guess. And then I found this metal B happy sign. So stinking cute, absolutely adorable. And I thought it was perfect for summer and spring. Or summer now, officially summer. Then I picked up this Ohio, or no, it's not Ohio art. I was mistaken. It is Jay Chin. 
It's marked on the back, J Chin. It's one of those vintage metal buckets. I think it's so cute. It needs cleaned up a little bit, um, but it is in overall pretty decent condition for its age. Oh, and I just like the colors. I think this would look so cute on a porch sitting with flowers planted in it. I just think it's so adorable. I like that. It has a little bit of wear and rust, but those metal bar buckets are getting harder and harder to find. So finding it in the bins made me happy. Then I picked up a couple linens to stick in a linen bag. Um, I haven't pick, been picking a lot of these up because Miss Carol gave me a ton I need to get um, lotted up together. But this one is just too good not to leave behind. You know, I can't leave it behind. It's in really good condition. So I picked up that one along with this one. They don't weigh anything, so they went in the bag. Then I picked up a couple macrame plant hangers. These are both in really good condition. I like that they are just the neutral color. So good for anybody's decor. They, if you like to hang up plants in your house, these are perfect. And they're both in really, really good condition. So two macrame plant hangers. And then I know some of you have said in the past that you like my Lazy Susan. So I've always looked, been looking in the bins for Lazy Susans, and I finally found one, just like mine. And this one spins perfectly. It is in really, really good condition, so this will be for sale. I need to clean it up a little bit, but huh, Lazy Susan. Then I picked up this stinking cute, adorable plaid doggy. Isn't he so cute? He still has a tag on him. Somebody was trying to sell him at one point, but he's so cute. So cute. <laughs> I'll get to take the tag off, but he's so adorable. I love him. Really good condition. And then, oh, I have something wrapped up. I have something wrapped up inside of this vintage um, Halloween tree skirt. If you decorate, if you have a Halloween tree, here is a tree skirt for your Halloween tree. Love it. It is so cute. So adorable. Such a fun piece. It does have a tiny little tear right there. I will have to see if Luke can fix that up because Luke can sew really well. Um... But yeah, I just thought it was so cute. Isn't that pumpkin adorable? <laughs> you, not every day you find uh, Halloween tree skirts. No, you don't. And then this is what I had wrapped up in it. It is so cute. It is a music box. Um, it is marked on the bottom, handmade in Japan. And it works great. a little slow I guess but it was working great uh, okay that's gonna continue to play in the background <laughs> okay and then I found this cute adorable electric pencil sharpener I need to put batteries in it to see if it works um, I haven't tested it out yet but I could not leave that behind this was in the bin with all the rubber toys Ooh. Careful, Missy. So, of course, he came home with me. He is very unique and super cool. I've never seen this piece before, so I picked that up. And here we go with a lot of the rubber toys. <laughs> Squeaker. Like I said, I was just throwing, started taking them out of the bins and then throwing them on the floor in front of me because I didn't have a bag as there were so many, so, so many. I grabbed just as many as I could. So many cute squeaker toys. Absolutely love them. Some of them are marked. Some of them are not. I just took every single rubber toy. 
every single, this one no longer squeaks. I don't care. I think these all will look so cute sitting on a shelf somewhere in someone's collection. They are so adorable. This one is probably one of my favorites because he's a monkey. Oh my gosh. He's holding a banana and he's so cute. So adorable. He's just made in Taiwan, but I don't care. He's so sweet. Look at his big old ears. chicken he doesn't squeak anymore he's so cute a little lammy it's got the rubber thing right there <laughs> the metal thing he's an older one this cute one he still squeaks pretty good. Now this guy, I don't know who he is. Look, he's got something on the back of him. I don't know if he went on something, but he is a rubber, a rubber thing. So he went in my, he went in my basket. Oh, cute little lammy. These are so adorable. So cute. This one's super cute too. This is another one of my favorites. It is an elephant. <laughs> he still squeaks really good. <laughs> I love him with a little bow. <laughs> oh, that one's cute. Cute. Adorable. <laughs> These are so cute. Oh, look at that froggy. Yeah, some of them don't squeak anymore, but... They're still so cute. So adorable. I love them so much. <laughs> Isn't that cute? All right, that's all the rubbers in that sack. Then I found another linen. This is like a table runner. Really cute pretty table runner or a dresser scarf if you have a long long dresser it would look pretty on a dresser but as you can see oh it's all embroidered really pretty i like the edging on there so that's a pretty piece that's going to go into a linen bag and then i got this for myself i got the little devil for myself he dances he's gonna go over there with my devil collection so I got him. I picked up a old red dice. This will go into a treasure bag. This will go into a treasure bag. It is a vintage, oh, upside down, sorry. Oklahoma ashtray, one of the metal tin ashtrays. So that will go in a treasure bag. This will go in a treasure bag. It's so cute, Royal Dalton. It's a pin. It's a Royal Dalton pin. How adorable. And then... Oh, I picked up this. Give me one second. One of the pins came out. He is a Santa mu music box ornament. Actually, he sits. 
he's got three feet on the bottom, so he'll sit. He's not an ornament. He'll just sit in your collection. He's missing one, two little pins right there. Maybe you could take, oh, maybe those ones aren't supposed to be there. Maybe that's why. I don't know. But he's so adorable, I could not leave this vintage Santa music box behind. No, 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 he's too cute. So he'll be for sale in a Christmas sale upcoming. And then that was all in that bag. I told you guys it's gonna be a big haul. I think it's one of my biggest hauls. Then I picked up this. Now I love this piece. This is so cool. You put the pot right there and you hang it up from like you can hang it on an outside wall, like on a shed or on your garage or something like that. But it'll hang up like this. It looks like a water spout and it will hold your flower pots. It is so neat and rustic looking and just awesome. I absolutely love this piece. There was actually two of them in the bins and unfortunately this piece was completely broken off. The round piece was completely broken off of it. So I had to leave it behind, but I did get this one. So that is super fun. Absolutely love it. And it's time to plant flowers right now. Right now is the time to plant flowers. Okay, so back to the rubbers for a minute. Yes, yes, I got more. I got more. Oh, he's so cute. I love this collection. I wish I would have been able to get them all. Elmer Fudd. He's so cute. Oh, look at him. Oh, he doesn't squeak anymore. He's an Alan J. Carol White, made in USA. I don't know, I'll have to look him up. But he is adorable, isn't he so cute? He's a big guy, he's a big doggy. I did get a squeaky Santa. Oh, I got a rubber squeaky Santa. He'll be for sale on a Christmas sale. Oh, this little lamey squeaks so good. I don't know what's going on on the back. Oh, it's a hat. That's what it is. That's cute. This bear, it is one that moves. Its arms and its legs moves. It's a rubber. It doesn't squeak anymore, unfortunately. And it is marked on the back, and I cannot see what it is marked because I have my contacts in. I think maybe the Sun Rubber Company. I don't know. He's so cute. Love him. Oh, a kitty cat. This one, it still squeaks, but it's kind of like a harder plastic. But, but it's, it still squeaks. I love that one. That's cute. Oh, cute little buddy. <laughs> cute. A little green elephant. A green froggy. And I think that's it for the rubber. Nope. One more rubber, but he's, he's a finger puppet, big bird finger puppet. Oh, he's so cute. He might go into a treasure bag since he's the only finger puppet I got. I might put him in the treasure bag. And then I'm not even, I'm not done yet. I am not done yet. I picked up this cute pencil sharpener. It is a metal pencil sharpener car. I love that piece. So that'll go into a treasure bag. And then I found, well, Alex found and gave me some briar horses. 
Yes. These are all briar horses. This is like probably the best one. I'll have to look them up and do some research, but I, this one's really nice. Really nice. So fun, aren't they awesome? So four briar horses. So that is my haul, you guys. That is awesome, awesome haul. Probably my biggest haul yet. I am super excited. Like I said, I only ended up spending $40 total for all that stuff. So I think I did good. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well. And I can let you know if I will sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Um, I host my live sales right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So most of the stuff that you see uh, me pick up will be available in my live sales um, every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time right here on my YouTube channel. And lately I've been having live sales every Saturday evening too at 6 p.m. Central Time as well. So you're going to want to make sure you hit that bell button and subscribe because I do have pop-up live sales throughout the week. And if you hit the notification bell button and subscribe, you will get notified when I go live and when I post new videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I had so much fun picking the Goodwill bins and digging and hunting for these vintage treasures. So as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.